Hi everyone, welcome to Go Classes. Let's solve this gate 1998 question in Boolean algebra in the digital logic subject. The question is saying what happens when a bit string is XORed with itself n times as shown. Okay, so if you have a bit string, okay, and you XOR it with itself n times, then what will happen? Okay, so the question is very simple. So let's take a bit string. So the question is saying that let's take a bit string. Okay. So if you take a bit string and you XOR it with itself n times. Okay. So for example, let's assume you have a bit string and you XOR it with, with itself one time. What this means? This means B XOR with itself. This means B XOR with itself. B XOR with itself one time. Correct or not? This, this means B XOR with itself one time. We are exhoring this B. We are exhoring this B with itself one time. Okay. So you can notice that in this question, first of all, you just focus that you are okay when, when n is 1, basically. Okay. Here you can notice, here you can notice n is equal to 1. So you are exhoring B with itself, this bit string B with itself, how many times? One time. Okay. So B exhort with B one time. Okay. So you can notice that. When n is equal to 1, then you have total 2 b's. Okay. So this is a confusion uh, that many students have. I have seen many students, they they get confused here. So let me tell you that you just take this b xor b. What it means? It means b xor with itself one time. b xor with itself one time. Okay. So when n is equal to 1, then you have one xor operation. Okay. One xor operation you have. So total 2 bit string you have. Now, now let's see. If you have any bit string, consider this bit string. Let me give you this bit string. Now, if you XOR this bit string with itself, okay, let's XOR, let's XOR this bit, bit string with itself. So this is a bit string, correct? This is a bit string. Let's XOR them. Let's XOR them. Okay, this and this. Let's XOR them. Okay. So what you will get if you XOR them, then one XOR one that is zero, zero XOR zero is zero, one XOR one that is zero, and zero XOR zero is zero. Because we already know. We already know that if you have any variable a, a XOR with itself that is 0, a XOR a is 0. So you can notice that if you XOR b XOR b that will be basically 0. Okay, if you can notice b XOR b, b XOR b this will be basically 0. Okay, so I can say that when n is 1, when n is 1 then in that case we are XORing b with itself one time. So when n is 1, when n is 1 then the result is 0. Okay, let's XOR, let's take n equal to 2. n equal to 2 means let's XOR b with itself two times. Let's XOR b with itself two times. Okay, now you can notice XOR is commutative and associative, right? So this XOR is associative operation. This is an associative operation. So because this is a so associative operation, so I can do this. Okay, now you can notice b XOR b that is already 0. So I can say that 0 XOR b. What is 0? XOR anything. 0 XOR anything. What is that? You can notice if X is 1 then the final result will be 1. If X is 0 then the final result will be, will be 0. So 0 XOR X is basically X. You can check it out. Very simple. Very simple. I am saying that if X is 1 then the final result then the final result will be 1. If X is 0 then the final result will be 0. Okay. So you can notice final result is same as X. So I can say 0 XOR X is X. Okay. So this b xor b that is 0, 0 xor b that is b. So when you have n equal to 2 then you you got b. Okay. Well, let's let's take n equal to 3. n equal to 3 what it means? It means xor this b xor b xor b xor b. Okay. It means this bit string b we are exhorting with itself 3 times. Okay. So there are 3 xor operations. Okay. Now you can notice this is we have already seen, we have already seen that this is equal to b. Okay, we have already seen b xor b xor b. We have already seen this is equal to b. So b xor b that is equal to 0. This also we have seen. So when n is equal to 3, then you have 0. When n is equal to 1, then you have 0. When n is equal to 2, then you have b. So from this you can notice, you can notice that when n is odd, when n is odd, then you can notice that when, when n is odd, then what is the answer? n is odd then the answer is 0 then the answer is 0 and when n is even then the answer is simply b okay so this is the final conclusion that we can get remember in this question he is asking 
that a bit string a bit string is absorbed with itself n times okay so this is example we have taken if you have any bit string this bit string if you absorb with itself one time if you if this bit string you absorb with itself one time then you will get zero correct so this is what we are saying this is what we are saying that you will get a zero now if you again if you again if you again xor b b xor b xor b if you do this this we already know this is 0 0 0 0 now if you again do the xor with b if you again do xor with b then what we will get then you can notice we will get 0 xor 1 that is 1 0 xor 0 that is 0 0 xor 1 that is 1 0 xor 0 that is 0 so you can notice that this is b itself this is b so you can notice that very simple this is what i am saying i am saying that any bit string you have any bit string b you have if you xor with itself one time then you will get all zero if you xor with itself two time then you will get b itself if you again xor with b then again you will get zero if you again xor with itself then again you will get b so finally we will get this behavior okay so if n is odd then zero if n is even then b so what will be the answer remains unchanged when n is even okay remains unchanged you can notice this bit string b this bit string b this remains unchanged this bit string b this remains unchanged this remains unchanged when you do when you do xor two times when you do, when you do xor even number of times then it will be as it is okay so remains unchanged when n is even okay so this option d option d is the answer so i can say that remains unchanged when n is even and i can also say i can also say that it will become all zero it will become all zero when n is odd so becomes all zero when n is odd you can notice here when n is odd when n is even okay uh, so when n is one n is odd n is one then in that case you can notice this bit string xor with itself one time you will get all zero okay so i can say that oh, you will get this option is also correct and i can also say that and i can also say that and i can also say that i can also say that results results in all zero okay results in uh, all zeros results in all zeros when n is odd so when n is odd then you will get all zeros you will get okay so this is the answer okay